Okay, this is a quick demo to show you how to record a Skype call and or interview using a non-traditional mixer, so really no mixer and no software. All right, so this is a very unique setup. We're going to use specifically an audio recorder, a certain kind, you see a Zoom H4 in here, and a very specific type of microphone. So if you have these two items, or something like this one, you can do this setup. So one of the advantages to this setup is you're not relying on software to record Skype, which at some point of using software on your computer, it's gonna crash and you're gonna lose your entire interview. And that's a shame five minutes in, it's a tragedy an hour in, and it'll always be that big interview that you uh, took forever to land. So you often can't ask that person to start over. So using an audio recorder is one way to help ensure that the interview is something you're not going to lose. It also can be used as a backup in addition to recording software on your computer. But here I'm gonna show you a very unique thing that having the ATR2100 microphone and an audio recorder with uh, at least two dual XLR and quarter inch jacks, an XLR, connection or a quarter inch cable can go into both of these inputs on the bottom of, in this case, the H4n. But as long as you have an audio recorder that accepts two uh, XLR or quarter inch uh, dual inputs, then this should work. I'm using, again, an H4n, and you do need to have an ATR2100 microphone. Uh, there is also the uh, 2005 the AT2005, I believe, and the Samson Q2U, or QU2, Q2U, is the exact same microphone, uh, just branded different uh, for the European market. So what's unique about the ATR2100 and why you need to use it in this case is it has an XLR out as well as a USB output, okay? So that's what's going to make sure that you can do this unique setup. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the XLR cable coming out of the ATR2100 and you're going to plug it into the first channel, channel 1 or channel 2 of your Zoom H4n or whatever recorder that you're using. There are also even more affordable versions of audio recorders that have XLR inputs, uh, one by Tascam, which I'll put the uh, links for all the gear for the setup that you see here will be in the description of this video. Okay, so you've taken your XLR cable coming out of your ATR2100, you've plugged it into, uh, we'll go with channel one in this case, channel one of your audio recorder via XLR, and then you take the USB cable coming out of your ATR2100, and you plug that into your computer. Okay, and now you'll take the output of your computer, which tends to be a uh, 1 8 inch cable, 3.5 millimeter cable, uh, you can take that from 3.5 millimeters to quarter inch and you'll plug that into the other channel of your recorder. And so now you've got one channel hearing your microphone via XLR and the other channel is hearing the computer via the quarter inch input. And the advantage here is that you, in stereo mode on the H4n, you're going to be able to separate those channels. So channel one just has your microphone Channel two just has the computer output. Okay, so you're gonna open up Skype and you're going to set it up so that Skype hears your ATR2100 through USB, okay? So your USB microphone is now being inputted into Skype and your Skype caller hears your voice coming in through your ATR2100 and the USB connection on your computer. They do not hear anything going on in here. So. Their voice is being heard by the Zoom H4n because it's coming out of the computer and going in to the recorder. So you don't have to worry about any feedback issues because they're only getting the audio from your microphone, not from the recording device. And then you get to monitor everything, the total mix of the sound, via a headphone output. Each recorder is gonna have a headphone output. Uh, plug in your headphones to the output of the recorder itself. This has a headphone output, but I prefer to plug it into the recorder itself because that's going to actually let you hear exactly what's being recorded, okay? And this will let you pick up any problems 
uh, that you encounter like hiss or peaking or anything else, you pick those up in real time, you can fix them and move on with the interview. And of course you want to remember to hit record on the recorder and then you're ready to record your interview or your Skype conversation. And again, you have your voice on one channel and the Skype or computer audio is going into another channel. And this way, in post-production, you'll have two different tracks to work with. You can post-process these, add effects to your track that fits your voice, special EQ, compression, etc., that fits your voice, as well as the second track, which is your interviewee's voice, and you can post-process that for them specifically. And as well, you get to remove audio from either track if someone coughs or sneezes, or clears their throat, or is a heavy breather, you can remove them from the audio track in the interview and you won't hear any of that. So there are a lot of advantages to this setup. It's, again, very unique. You need an audio recorder with the dual XLR quarter inch jack inputs. There are some good options for that. Uh, and when you have one of those, this thing does a lot of things. It's basically a mini studio in the palm of your hand. You can take this on the road and really podcast completely with this and you need the ATR2100, which is an extremely affordable microphone. Uh, the price has fluctuated anywhere from $35 to $50. It's well worth it. You can see just alone here, it has a very unique uh, setup that you can use to record Skype, something that a lot of podcasters want to do. All right, so again, check the links for all the gear that I mentioned here, and um, ask any questions you have in the comments, and I'll see you next time.